Well, I've called the Hirabayashi case the opinion of a lifetime uh, because it's judges on the Intermediate Court of Appeals don't often see a case that has as much historical background and current significance as the Hirabayashi case. Gordon Hirabayashi, of course, had been convicted of refusing to uh, report for the internment and curfew of Japanese Americans during World War II. He was an uh, American citizen born in Seattle, student at the University of Washington at the time, didn't think it was right, um, fought, fought the case all the way to the United States Supreme Court and lost along with uh, Fred Korematsu uh, a little later. And um, in the uh, 80s, the, uh, Peter Irons, a historian, dug up information that indicated that the Justice Department had lied to the Supreme Court and that they knew that there were no uh, security risks among Japanese Americans and that this was all based on racist lies. Um, and so um, Hirabayashi uh, and Korematsu filed their cases for a writ of quorum nobis in the 80s. Uh, with some very courageous lawyers, because this was not that long after World War II. They, those who had fought the war against the Japanese were still on our court, active judges, um, and uh, 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 influential members of society, and this was not something that people readily accepted. But, um, the, uh, but the case was argued, it was argued very well. I remember it was argued in Seattle. And then I worked really hard to write the opinion. Judge Goodwin was the presiding judge, and he didn't feel comfortable writing the opinion. He, uh, and he assigned it to me. I thanked him many times for that. And uh, Jerome Ferris was on the panel as well. And um, we worked hard and, and I think wrote a pretty good opinion. And the government then did not appeal it. So in the story of the Japanese internment, I got the last word, kind of, and that, I thought that was good. And it was a very moving experience for me. So I, it's, uh, I say, I've said many times that it's not often that, uh, that a judge on a court uh, like ours gets to uh, right one of the great wrongs of history. And I got to do that in, with, along with my colleagues and some great lawyering, and it was, and a very courageous Gordon Hirabayashi, 